Asbestos is a naturally occurring mineral that was used for everything from building tiles to gloves. The Romans loved asbestos, using it in several different ways. The word asbestos means inextinguishable in ancient Greek because of its fire-resistant properties. Asbestos was mined by the Romans throughout their empire in places like Greece, but it was also imported from India. The asbestos was then weaved into fibres to make cloth. It was more valuable than silk to the Romans because it was impervious to fire. The Roman writer Pliny the Elder wrote about this wonder mineral. We have seen napkins made of that material burn in the brazier of the banquets and then come out, every trace of dirt burnt, returned from the fire whiter than water could have made them. Regal shrouds are made from this material so that the body's ashes can be kept separate from the ashes of the fire. The Romans mostly used asbestos to make tablecloths. When the tablecloths got dirty, they would chuck them onto the fire to burn off the dirt and the food residue leaving the cloth untarnished. Although Pliny the Elder knew of its uses, he had no real idea of where asbestos came from. This fibre, which grows in the desert of India where it never rains and venomous snakes live, is burnt by seasonal fires and is used to the burning heat. Another fascinating use was as a wick for lamps. The ancient geographer Strabo talked about a bronze lamp in the temple of Athena on the Athenian Acropolis. This lamp used an asbestos wick with olive oil as fuel. The asbestos wick would never burn, but it would soak up the oil from the bronze lamp to produce a clean flame. Archaeological examples are rare, but enough survive to prove that the written ancient sources were telling the truth. A 1.5 by 1.8 meter asbestos cloth was discovered in 1702 in Rome. It was used to wrap the remains of a high-ranking individual from the Roman period suggesting that Pliny was right about asbestos being used to separate human remains from flames during cremations. This cloth was found in an acropolis in the Vatican City, again dating to the Roman period. Unfortunately, the Vatican is notoriously secretive, so no better photographs of the cloths are available to the public. Asbestos is fantastic, but it's carcinogenic. The mineral fibres, whilst producing a material to weave into non-flammable cloth, are so small that they can easily become inhaled and trapped in the body. These trapped fibres can cause scarring, inflammation and cancer. The Romans knew absolutely nothing about this. Asbestos is relatively harmless and less disturbed. The Romans with any real access to asbestos cloth were the rich. They wouldn't have had anything to do with the asbestos being chucked onto the fire or back onto the table. That was a slave's job. If a slave died of asbestosis or cancer, their owner wouldn't have connected it to the asbestos tablecloth, now would they? Asbestos-related diseases can take decades to inflict harm, and ancient people, slaves especially, died of many things that most people at the time couldn't explain. The slaves who were most at risk from asbestos-related diseases were the slaves with the unfortunate task of mining the asbestos. Unfortunately for them, conditions in the Roman mines were so horrific that they would have died long before any asbestos-related disease would have had any effect. Asbestos, to the Romans, was simply a wonder material that could do wonderful things. The only downside was the price.